hard sometimes. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? We are here at Queen Mary Dark Harbor. This is my first time ever being at this event. Have you been to the event before? Uh, this is my second time. Second time. So we actually got uh, invited VIP media uh, guests. Uh, a special shout out to Queen Mary for inviting us out to the event so we can experience it. Um, I'm super excited to go through all the mazes. I'm super excited to get some beer in me. Because um, if you guys know, on the fucking live streams we drink beer. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, join me and Robert. Me and Robert are out here. We're going to be covering the event. There's going to be a ton of photos on our Instagram. Yes, sir. Um, and we're just going to be covering the event, maze walkthroughs. Uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll catch up with a couple of our YouTube friends here. We've already seen a couple, so we're fucking excited to be here. Yeah, so. super excited. Here we go. Captain speaking. Welcome to the 10th anniversary of Dark Harbor! Yes, what a lively crowd you are! Opening night, you all get to see Dark Harbor for the first time, the first people through the gates. Are you excited? I'm excited. 10 years! Let me put that in perspective. Ten years is about how long you spend in traffic looking for parking for Dark Harbor. 2010, Dark Harbor started. Here's another perspective. The iPhone 4 was released in 2010. Look how far we've come. You've all got such better cameras now to take such terrible photos every year. Here's a pro tip. If you're standing in fog, don't use a flash or you get a very nice photo of fog. You're welcome. <laughs> so who has been to Dark Harbor before? <laughs> who has never been to Dark Harbor before? <laughs> I like those odds. Who's been here all 10 years? <laughs> you look like you've been here all 10 years. I can, I can see it. Well, before we begin, I always like to get to know my crowd. I do this every night. Makes my job a lot easier. So, who is here as part of a group of two or more? Yell out as loud as you can. Oh, yeah. Who is here as part of a couple? Yell out as loud as you can. 
this this was your date night all right who is here by themselves that's sad oh. all right make some friends it's better if you don't die alone no but no you do you boo that's fine well in every group, there's always a scared one. So right now, I want you to point to the weakest link in your group. You, you're actually cowering in fear. No one had to point. I could just look at you. Strangely, you're standing at the very front. Excellent. I can't tell from here, but I hope you're wearing the brown pants. It's all my white about pants. to happen. Well, for those of you that have been here before, I can tell you all of your favorite characters are back. Myself, Scary Mary, Graceful Gale, Iron Master, Voodoo Priestess, the Chef, Chef Boyardee's Nerds, as I like to call him. Actually, this year I think I'm going to call him Lunch Lady Doris. I think that's it, right? I'm not forgetting anyone. Who? The what now? I feel like I should know the answer to this. He always starts without me. I think he just does it as a tease. <laughs> but can I, can I really ask, can I ask you a question? It's good to see me, isn't it? Yes, I know. It, it's really like a religious experience. Welcome to our altar. Welcome to our little church of sin. Who's ready to be naughty tonight with us? Yes. But, you know, cool it, because they will kick you out if you act up, so behave yourselves. We are so thrilled to have you. The captain announced it is our fabulous 10th year. Captain. How is it that with each passing season, we just get sexier and sexier? Isn't that amazing? Yes. We are truly hashtag blessed. And that's something I learned from all the influencers, which is a new term I've learned. It's very exciting. So thank you to all of you who influence. I don't know what it is you're influencing, but thank you for doing what you do. Yes. Well, we are here. We are queer. We are ready to party with you. Please come and join me at every bar that we have. I think there's 13,000 of them this year. Tip your bartenders. Join me in the ball pit if you want to have a little tussle. It'll be a night to remember, I promise you. I must go and put on a little foundation powder. I'm feeling quite sweaty. And we're going to be taking a lot of photos. I don't want to shine. I know what I'm doing. So come find me. Have a fabulous time. Thank you for being here. Mwah! Ladies and gentlemen, the ringmaster! If I could get my leg that high, I'd never leave the house. <laughs> so... There you go. Little too much information already. <clears throat> so many new things at Dark Harbor. We have a new maze this year called Rogue. It's the story of how I died. Finally, you will see the younger version of me. I wanted Zac Efron, but apparently Dark Harbor has a Danny DeVito budget. <laughs> so there you go. Well, it's come to that time of night. I think I've held you out here long enough. So I have a very important question to ask you. I want you to answer honestly. Do you want to come in? It's opening night. You can do better than that. Do you want to come in? That was so much better. Let's see how good that was. Monsters, do you want them to come in? Oh, snap. How you doing, brown pants? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've just heard what's waiting for you on the other side of the gate. Hundreds of monsters, six mazes, one of them brand new, three of them on board the ship, 13 bars, many of them are secret, you have to find them. We have sliders, we have aerial 
must be having a fire show, contortionist. It's all waiting for you, so I'm gonna ask you one more time. And this time, say it like you mean it. Do you want to come in? <laughs> then under captain's orders, open the gates! <laughs> See, the event is officially open. We are here at Dark Harbor, Queen Mary. We have never been to the event, so we are gonna do everything. We are super excited to be here. Again, thank you to Queen Mary for hooking us up with VIP Media tonight. Um, we're so excited to be here. The opening ceremony was awesome. Just seeing the atmosphere here is fucking cool, so we're gonna go check this place out, and uh, yeah, let's do this. Circus. Robert, what did you think? I thought it was really cool. You know, it's my second time at Dark Harbor. Um, the maze was a lot different than what I'm used to at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. The Not Scary Farm. It, um, it was really cool, really different. Yeah, this is my first year ever, and I really enjoyed. Uh, I really enjoyed Circus. It was. It was freaking. It was fun, interactive. I had an amazing time doing it. We're about to go through, I believe, Feast. I don't know, but we're about to go through that. About to check it out, see what's up. So join us. Job. Job. I think that guy's dead. Light your face.
Robert got there too? Oh my god! Okay, there he is. I saw him coming and steal something. Alright, what did we just sweat in? Uh, feast. So, what'd you think? It was, it was awesome. Like, at one point I thought, is, are we still even in the maze? Because it just seems so real. It's really cool going through the ship. It was awesome. Yeah, we went through Feast. We saw the chef. Very dark. Very kind of eerie. Um, I was on guard the entire time, but it was a good maze. I enjoyed it. And, um, uh, He's always going in first. I know, so yeah. You know, I don't mind doing that. I'm not Sammy, so I don't mind it either. You know, so hey, you two. You two, there it is. The suspect, Sam, stuck local. We just went through B340. I got a little bit of the maze left uh, on. What'd you think? That maze was awesome, man. Like the bridge part. The bridge part's the best. Scared the it. shit out of me. That was like the worst thing in the whole maze. Cause I'm yeah. a big boy, and going through that bridge, I felt like I was legit gonna break it. Yeah. No. So. It, don't call it hell. It dropped down too. That was unexpected. It yeah. Was cool. If you have like phobias of heights and stuff, definitely don't go through that. Yeah. Everything feels so real in there too. Just like the other maze, like I said before. It's just. I think it's just the eerie past of the ship. Just feels real. That adds to it. That adds yeah. to it. So we're about to hit Lullaby. We're here with uh, her right there with those guys. You may or may not know them. If you don't, I don't blame you. If you do, well, you know. <laughs> so we're gonna go through Lullaby. We'll see how it goes. Lullaby! Lullaby! Yeah. Oh! Thomas, she obviously likes you. I, 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 <laughs> Thomas, make a move. <laughs> I'm waiting for Thomas. He's got a, a, a fan. See, that's what you get for being pretty. It's true. It's true. And that's He's what you get for talking about her. He's good looking. The good looking guy always goes first. Right? For a tip, yeah, it's, it's a nice pool. Nice time for a pool. And that's what you get for talking crap. I drowned in the pool. You drowned in the pool? Oh, yeah. so, what the drowned in the pool? Wanna join me? Oh. Yo, as long as it gets me cool, I'm down. <laughs> Robert, we just got out of Lullaby. What, the, what are your thoughts? Uh, I think it was the creepiest maze so far. It was my favorite one as well. Definitely. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I like the uh, aspect of the pool. Scary Mary. She looked creepy. A lot of the actors in this one actually were really good too. Yeah, that and then also there was a lot of uh, areas where it got really cold just all of a sudden. Yeah, and that kind of makes crazy. you think if that was an actual air thing or if that was real culture activity. I don't know, activity. but there were certain areas, so. Definitely. So. All right, we're gonna hit the last two, and we'll give you our thoughts. Yeah. Oh! Ah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Moving. Say hi to the vlog. Think you are. This ain't Disneyland. It's not. Keep it moving, it's son. Some, it's somewhere better. You just say this in time. Thank you. Oh, okay. That's that's real. That's where that horn's coming from. All right. Heck no, dude. This effect's legit. Hey, my dude. Ah. All right. We just did an trip in. What'd you think? It was cool. There were some cool parts to it, but you know, it was a short maze. It was the shortest maze so far. I, there was like a whole two minutes where I didn't get scared at all. Yeah, I didn't get scared. Either, uh, but there were some cool parts. But the set design was really cool. 
I just wish that Scare Actors would have been more on point with it. Yeah. But, uh, it, it, I mean, it, it's kind of low on my list for this this year. So yeah. far, Lullabies killed it for me. Yeah, and compared to the other ones, this one was, this one was okay. So we got Rogue left, and uh, we're going to check that one out. That's a new one, uh, so that's going to be really fun. I'm really looking forward to that, so let's go check it out. Yeah, and stuff like that. Stuff like that. We already did that. Did I mention all these sexy bastards were with us? Language. Language. Oh, so wait, you want to tell the audience what we're about to go through? We're about to go through Rogue, the new maze at Queen Mary, Dark Harbor, 2019. All right. Oh, oh, go! Get below deck! Get now! Them. Now! We have a rogue way! Get below deck! Ah, go, rogue, I get go, it. Go! I like that echo effect. Whoa! Whoa. Rogue, what'd you think? Hey, Rogue was a really cool maze. It wasn't really too scary for me. I felt like more like I was in a war movie, but other than that, really cool, really cool stuff. I agree, scenic wise, it was awesome. Um, you know, I love the war uh, vibe to it, which was really cool. Yeah. I definitely, this is probably my favorite maze of the event. Besides that horn. Um, and stuff like that. And stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Lullaby is probably second. But yeah, Lullaby is still, uh, still my favorite. Definitely awesome. Yeah. And then there's Fracture Compass right there. Yay! There they are, right there. They made it in the vlog. <laughs> so yeah, definitely loved Rogue. Best, yeah. best maze here. And that yeah. is going to do it for our coverage. And then, and, and then we also found the secret maze. We found the secret bar the in there. Maze secret bar. It was awesome. I'm here with Bree from Fracture Compass Productions. What's up, guys? She is here attending the meeting. What do you think so far? This event is amazing. I think they just keep raising the bar and what they can do. This is the most physical mazes that I've been through. That's just a normal maze event, though. Yeah. Look how tall you are. I know, right? Look how tall. Ah, there it is. <laughs> but yeah, we uh, we just we uh, at least we knocked it out and we had fun. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Did you have to crawl through the meat shredder? Probably not. Not the meat shredder, but we had to crawl during lullaby, and it sucked. Did you had to crawl during lullaby. Yeah. There was a scene where we had to like crawl through to the next room and there was like a nun in there. Oh, okay, was, that was uh, B340. B340, yeah, that yeah, was what okay. it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it sucked. It did suck. It I was, sucked. My backpack got stuck, but yeah, these mazes are physical. The event is amazing. You guys come down here and check out Dark Harbor because honestly, I think it's a very affordable event. Oh, yeah. You get a lot of bang for your buck the higher you go in price. So. Oh, yeah. Come on down, find some secret bars. Definitely, we found one and we went to the run and rogue, which was awesome. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're coming back Sunday, uh, me and my girlfriend, so that should be really fun. Go through everything again, but uh, glad to catch up with you like always. See you in the fog at knots. That's right. And uh, wherever else we catch you guys at. That's right, so yeah, we'll be at knots tomorrow and we'll be uh, at LA on a hayride. You coming to LA? We'll be there Saturday. All right. So you guys are going Saturday? Yep. All right, we'll see you then. Bye, guys. In the words of the Ghostbusters, we came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Yes, it was very fun. All very, right. Very fun. A special thank you to Queen Mary for inviting us out to their media yes. preview night. That was, it was a great experience. It was great experience. It really was, and that was our first ever media night, and we couldn't be more thankful um, for that because it opened up hopefully more doors for more media <laughs> events for us. Uh, join us next week. We're going to be... Uh, doing media at the Bloodshed Brothers uh, haunt. That's gonna be fun. Very excited to go out there. They got two mazes for us to check out, so very excited for that. And then join us, I think the week after, we're gonna be going to, we got invited to the Tunes of Terror uh, uh, symphony that they're gonna be doing for horror music. Yeah. Uh, it's a concert event that we got invited to, uh, thanks to John Mazzari's contact, Cody. Thank and you, John. so we were very excited to look at that. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for more content from LA Haunted Hayride, Not Scary Farm, HHN, Queen Mary, uh, and that is going to do it for you guys, uh, and we'll see you guys in the next one.